Scott Pilgrim has the best understory you might never have heard before. China Clugston wrote and drew the Blue Monday comic for Oni Press four years before Brian Lee O'Malley began working for the same publisher. The naming convention of Blue Monday being a reference to the New Order song was the exact place where Brian Lee O'Malley took the idea for Scott Pilgrim, a song by the Canadian band Plumtree. The author not only stole its story's bones from a girl at work, but the characters he jammed in there are all based on his own insecurities. Brian Lee O'Malley also forced countless out-of-context video game elements into his story as well. These elements are never really explained, nor does any person in the world seem alarmed or even remotely reactive to their presence. Pokemon, for example, has commercial uses for their creatures, and a world that takes at least four seconds to acknowledge their presence. But on Scott Pilgrim, as it's less of a modern slice-of-life story with fantasy elements, and more of a muddled collage of stuff hastily jammed together from better stories. Looking at the similarities between the main character's likenesses should be indicative enough of its origin. It's also worth noting that the unfortunate circumstance of both of these titles sharing the same publisher would make any legal actions difficult. But it is what this hack added that's really interesting. Scott Pilgrim is like a litmus test for fake nice guys. Every villain possesses some attribute that Scott and Brian Lee O'Malley don't have, but then immediately follows up with a showcase of how that same attribute fails that person, as though to prove to the audience and himself, Yo, that turkey ain't shit, just cause he could do a backflip and I can't? That last one's the clincher too, so Brian Lee O'Malley is creeping on this lady's comic at work, right? He basically took her stories and turned one of her main characters into some unemployed wannabe rock star, indie snob butt munch, who needs to unga bunga any dudes this new girl he likes has ever done kissing with. The biggest threat to Scott is this Gideon guy Ramona is totally under the power of and desperately needs saving from. Since Blue is a stand-in for China and Ramona is a Xerox of Blue, Gideon was created a la Chris Chan style in response to China having a real-life spouse. That's right, the main villain is none other than Blue Monday's creator, China Clugston's real-life husband at the time. That unnatural power and sway he has over her is representative of their union in reality. It's like one of Tina Belcher's erotic friend fiction stories if it had no reason video game superpowers and was penned by Perfect Blue's Maimania. So Ed Wright has a midlife crisis making a trendy movie out of it for people who hate reading. Meanwhile, as far as we know, Brian Lee O'Malley and China Clugston have never commented on the similarities between Blue Monday and Scott Pilgrim, which in and of itself says something. That's it for tonight. Let us know in the comments what you think or if I missed anything. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.